Have you ever thought, there's got to be a better and simpler way to learn organizational strategies? 5 Minutes Learning has a global and diverse collection of case studies to help management students click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming and interesting case studies. In today's fast-paced world, businesses need to stay ahead of the curve by predicting future trends and market demands. One company that has successfully implemented this strategy is Pepsi, the world-renowned food, snack, and beverage corporation. Pepsi has leveraged the power of predictive analytics to forecast demand and optimize inventory management, allowing them to stay ahead of the competition and ensure a steady supply of their products to customers. Predictive analytics is a form of advanced analytics that utilizes statistical algorithms, machine learning, and artificial intelligence to identify patterns and predict future outcomes. Pepsi has used this technology to analyze past sales data and identify trends and patterns that can help them forecast future demand accurately. By leveraging this technology, Pepsi has been able to adjust their production and inventory levels to meet the expected demand, reducing the likelihood of overstocking or understocking. Hey guys, have you ever wondered how companies like Pepsi are able to accurately forecast demand and optimize inventory management? Well, it's all thanks to the power of predictive analytics. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how Pepsi has used predictive analytics to analyze sales data from their retail partners and leverage the data to identify patterns and trends in consumer behavior. Pepsi has been able to identify seasonal fluctuations in consumer behavior by analyzing sales data over time. By forecasting these fluctuations, Pepsi can adjust its inventory levels and production schedules accordingly. But that's not all. Pepsi has also used predictive analytics to analyze regional preferences and consumer behavior. By identifying which products are most popular in each region, Pepsi can optimize their product offerings to meet the specific needs of each region, and it doesn't stop there. Pepsi has developed predictive models that can forecast future demand for their products by taking into account factors like historical sales data and regional preferences. This helps them adjust their production and inventory levels to ensure that they have enough products to meet customer demand without overstocking and risking waste or obsolescence. Last but not least, Pepsi has even optimized its pricing strategies using predictive analytics. By analyzing sales data and market trends, they can identify which products are most sensitive to changes in price and adjust their pricing strategies accordingly. Pepsi has leveraged data analytics by implementing a system that uses machine learning algorithms to optimize its supply chain. The system analyzes data from various sources, such as weather forecasts, transportation data, and production data, to identify potential disruptions and optimize their supply chain accordingly. Here are some of the ways that Pepsi has used machine learning algorithms to optimize its supply chain. Number 1. Predictive Maintenance Pepsi uses machine learning algorithms to predict and prevent equipment failures before they occur. The algorithms analyze data from sensors installed in the equipment to detect anomalies and predict when a breakdown is likely to occur. This helps Pepsi schedule maintenance proactively, minimizing downtime and reducing the risk of supply chain disruptions. Number 2. Route Optimization Pepsi uses machine learning algorithms to optimize the delivery routes of its products. The algorithms take various factors into account, such as traffic conditions, weather forecasts, and delivery deadlines, to optimize the routes and minimize transportation costs. This helps Pepsi ensure that its products are delivered on time and in the most cost-effective way. Number 3. Demand Forecasting 
Pepsi uses machine learning algorithms to accurately forecast demand for its products. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as sales history, weather forecasts, and promotions to predict demand for each product. This helps Pepsi adjust its production and inventory levels to meet the expected demand, minimizing the risk of stockouts or overstocking. Number four, inventory optimization. Pepsi uses machine learning algorithms to optimize its inventory levels. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as sales histories, production schedules, and transportation times to determine the optimal inventory levels for each product. This helps Pepsi reduce its inventory carrying costs while ensuring that it has enough products to meet customer demand. Number five, supplier management. Pepsi uses machine learning algorithms to manage its suppliers better. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as supplier performance histories, quality control data, and market trends to identify potential risks and opportunities. This helps Pepsi make informed decisions about which suppliers to work with and how to manage them more effectively. Pepsi has also used predictive analytics to optimize their marketing campaigns by analyzing data from various sources to understand consumer behavior and predict which marketing strategies are likely to be the most effective. Here are some of the ways that Pepsi has used predictive analytics to optimize its marketing campaigns. Firstly, identifying consumer segments. Pepsi has used predictive analytics to identify different consumer segments based on their preferences and behaviors. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as sales data, social media, and online behavior, to segment consumers based on factors such as age, gender, location, and purchase history. This helps Pepsi tailor its marketing campaigns to specific segments and personalize their messaging to resonate better with each group. Secondly, predicting consumer behavior. Pepsi uses predictive analytics to predict consumer behavior, such as purchase intent and brand loyalty. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as social media, search trends, and sales data, to identify patterns and trends in consumer behavior. This helps Pepsi anticipate consumer needs and preferences and tailor its marketing campaigns to meet those needs. Thirdly, testing marketing strategies. Pepsi uses predictive analytics to test different marketing strategies before launching them. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as customer surveys and focus groups, to predict how consumers will respond to different marketing strategies. This helps Pepsi to identify which strategies are likely to be the most effective and make data-driven decisions about which campaigns to invest in. Fourthly, personalizing marketing messages. Pepsi uses predictive analytics to personalize marketing messages for each consumer segment. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as purchase history and online behavior, to tailored messaging to each individual consumer. This helps Pepsi make its marketing campaigns more effective and increases the likelihood of conversion. Finally, optimizing media buying. Pepsi uses predictive analytics to optimize media buying and ensure that their marketing campaigns reach the right audience. The algorithms analyze data from various sources, such as social media, search trends, and website analytics to identify which media channels are likely to be the most effective for each campaign. This helps Pepsi optimize their media spend and maximize the impact of their marketing campaigns. Now, we're going to take a look at some of the exciting data-powered innovations happening at Pepsi. First up, 
real updates on food to keep it fresh. We all know that minutes matter when it comes to getting food to the shelves, and data can help get it there faster and fresher. Pepsi is using Bluetooth-enabled sensors to monitor the condition and location of their shipments, allowing them to optimize their systems and be more efficient across their entire supply chain. This can help them save fuel, reduce food waste, and stay ahead of customer demand. Next, let's talk about brand innovation inspired by analytics. Gatorade is using data and analytics to optimize the way athletes exercise and the way Pepsi develops new products. The Gatorade JX Sweat Patch is a great example of this. After exercising, while wearing the sweat patch, consumers can upload their workout data to receive personalized recommendations for hydration and nutrition. And based on data about the foods and drinks consumers refuel with, Gatorade can provide even better post-workout options in the future. Moving on, let's take a look at how data is helping potato farmers develop more sustainable ways to grow. Farmers are an essential part of Pepsi's ambition to spread regenerative farming practices across 7 million acres by 2030. By using data on soil type, weather, irrigation, and water usage, farmers can assess crop performance and develop practices to improve yields. The results have been impressive, with nearly doubled irrigation accuracy in some cases. Last but not least, Pepsi is investing in data upskilling programs for all associates. With the breadth of what's happening in the data and analytics space, Pepsi wants to give its associates access to knowledge that can help them leapfrog their skills. The Digital Academy offers on-demand courses on topics like data and analytics, cloud technology, and machine learning, allowing associates at all levels to start growing digital skills that apply to a wide range of roles. Data isn't just numbers and more. It's the key to understanding what consumers really want. And Pepsi has taken this to the next level with Pepvis, a cutting-edge tool that combines data, analytics, and expert insights to predict what customers will crave before they even know it themselves. Here is how Pepvis is revolutionizing the future of shopping fun. First is consumer-focused insights. Pepvis doesn't just track sales data. It also predicts what products will be popular in the future. By analyzing trends and consumer behavior, Pepis ensures that stores always have the products customers are looking for. Because if customers can't find what they want, then we've all failed them. Next, hyperlocal curation. Pepvis understands that what works in one store might not work in another. That's why it tailors its recommendations to each specific location. Whether it's spicy flavors or caffeine-free drinks, Pepvis ensures that each store has the products its customers want. Finally, untapped growth potential. Pepvis isn't just about keeping up with demand. It's about identifying untapped potential by analyzing sales data and consumer behavior, Pevis predicts which stores have the greatest potential for growth. This means that sales teams can focus on helping those stores reach their full potential. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos.